Hi guys, bonjour mes amis, I'm Booger, welcome aboard. Brussels sprouts. I don't know what I'm going to call it because I'm going to use some hoisin sauce. I'm going to make some kind of Asian sauce with hoisin sauce. Which is a sauce you can find at Walmart, but anyways. I'm just letting you know, it's not a, you know, uh, what you call it? An item that you have to go to 17 stores for. <laughs> but anyways, we're going to make a nice little Asian sauce uh, for Brussels. Why not? You guys ready? Let's go. Tension. All right, you guys. So here's my Brussels sprouts. You cut the tips off and you split them in half. All right. So I'm going to uh, put some good oil on this, some high temperature fry oil, which is Tang stir fry oil. I get this on uh, Amazon. I wish Walmart would sell this, but they don't. So there's that. If you're listening, Walmart, which I know you're not, but anyways. I always put, this comes in a pack of two, this Evo sprayer. The other one's got regular olive oil, and this one I put Tang in there. As soon as you open that bottle, you will immediately smell garlic. It is absolutely beautiful. Oh, I can smell it right now. It's so nice. So I'm going to try to get all these beautiful Brussels covered. All right. I got stuff for my sauce ready here, so I can just jump to that real quick. Oh, goodness. Let me zoom you out a little bit there. This is the Rapid Crisp Air Fryer by DeLonghi. Let me put a little bit of tang on the bottom there. I'm telling you, this oil is so lovely. All right, so let's not put the highest temp on this. If you wanna know the numbers, what it means, the temperature, so it's listed down below under the show more description. All right, so let's plug it in, booger. It runs with electricity, of course. It's got a bottom burner, so most foods I don't have to flip over and all that stuff, but with this, I'm going to use the french fry setting. It's going to beep halfway to tell me to shake the pan a little bit, so I'm going to do that. Um, I'm going to try to reach about 380, about something like that. So I'm going to leave it at number three because if I put it on the highest setting, it's going to turn dark too fast. I may bump it up. I don't know. It's, you know, it's got air fryers, got multiple temperatures. You don't have to cook everything at full blast. You're not in a hurry, you know. So, okay, so it's at french fries. The bottom uh, burner is lit, so that's what I want. Number three, 25 minutes. Let me put 30, so it beeps. At about 15, 16 minutes gonna beep at me to toss them around a little bit. So I'm gonna do that, okay? So let's start this off. Let's make the sauce while that's doing that. Right, jump right to it. There you go, let's zoom in on that. Over here I have three tablespoons of poison sauce. And you can find this sauce at Walmart, you guys. But I will put a link to it, the one that I use on Amazon. I, I don't live close to Walmart, it's not that close. So sometimes I get my stuff on Amazon, it's just cheaper than driving across town going to that. So soy sauce, I have a tablespoon and a half of soy sauce. And uh, some ask me what kind of soy sauce I use. I go to the Asian market and get my soy sauce. Usually it's low sodium, it's a lot better. If you're using like keiko man, it's a little salty to me. Uh, so uh, lechoy is good, but you know this is this is what I use. All right. So one and a half teaspoons of rice vinegar. Again, another thing you can find at Walmart. I have a teaspoon of um, honey. Okay. You could use regular sugar, but I try to replace sugar with honey most of the time. I mean, it's just good. Not better for you. This is local honey, so good for your, your immune system which we all need these days okay this is a good tablespoon of sriracha now that's up to you if you can't do spicy just do about a teaspoon you'll be all right it's not gonna hurt I'm just trying to balance the sweet and the spicy all right here I have a half a teaspoon of sesame oil roasted sesame oil these are all things you can find at Walmart all right so I'm gonna mix this up. I'm not gonna put this until the very end. All right, so we'll be back. Here's an update. As you can see, I changed it to manual and I turned the bottom off because look at that, look at that. Look how quickly that happened. Ooh, net it. And they're pretty um, soft. They're cooked. Unbelievable. I thought it was gonna take longer than that. So sometimes that bottom burner is really nice and then sometimes it's a little too hot. So in this case, you know, just the loose leaves got dark, but you know, you got that roasted uh, thing going on. There. Let's put the sauce in there and now we're really going to take it down. 
to the lowest setting that I can get it on. And I'm not going to turn that bottom burner on because uh, I don't want that sauce just here, right? Oh, it smells so good. Beautiful. I don't know about you, but the favorite part for me on these is that crispy, those little chips, Brussels chips. <laughs> All right, so let's lower it down to nothing here. Hang on, hang on, calm down. Okay, manual, let's go to one. 30 is too long, I'm gonna do this for about 10 minutes. All right, bottom is off, we're good to go. We'll be back. All right, you guys, I'm gonna call that quits. That sauce is stuck to the Brussels. I'm gonna plate that and taste it for you. Yeah, it smells good. All right, you guys, Ooh, is that beautiful? It took less time than the oven uh, way, you know what I'm saying? So that's a good thing. All right, here we go. Oh gosh, who doesn't like Brussels? Look at that, beautiful. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Cooked beautifully. I taste like smoky flavor. It's very nice. Little sweet, little spicy, and smoky. What is wrong with that? Nothing. That is so yum, you guys. Serve this with some white rice and you're good to go. I'm telling you, it's very good. I think next time I'm gonna put some onions in there. Cause I love me some onions. All right, you guys, I will type down the recipe, that sauce recipe down below the garlic from that oil. Woo, girl. All right. Thanks for shopping, guys. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.